Good morning. I am extremely tired today. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. I've only had three hours sleep, but yesterday Lids and I wrapped up at Time England. We had an absolutely beautiful lunch in the kitchen garden, followed by dinner in the ox barn. For the launch of Bertioli's new linen collection, Lydia vlogged the experience, so if you wanna go and check that out, make sure you head over to her channel. But this morning, very excited, I'm gonna be heading to Goodwood Festival of Speed with Maserati, and I'm gonna be traveling there via helicopter, for one. Two, David Beckham is a Maserati ambassador, so we're gonna be enjoying him for lunch at the Kennels in Goodwood. And then we're gonna catch a helicopter back after a day exploring Goodwood. So the three hour sleep is absolutely worth it. It's looking like it's gonna be a nice day today, and then it may get a little bit wet this afternoon, but we're gonna to have to play that one by ear. But the cab's outside, I am gonna uh, jump in there, maybe try and get a little bit of sleep, you know, and then hopefully I'll feel a little bit more refreshed for the day. We've arrived to Battersea and uh, the helicopters are just starting to take off. You can see just over there in the distance, one's already gone. Got the second one going. Our helicopter is in around about 15 minutes and we've been making our way over to Goodwood Festival of Speed with Maserati. arrived and we're currently looking at the Napier Railton, a pre-war power machine. Cars dating to the early 1900s. Lovely to see it. Don't get to see those very often. Wow, I've never seen this vehicle before. Love all the uh, Marlborough branding on it. Reminds me of the old Formula One days. It's a beautiful colour, what do you call that? It's like a, a light minty kind of, stunning. Yeah, turbo steady. They're actually displaying the engine just outside of the vehicle, which is super cool. Look at all the gear on that, it's incredible. Cam belt at the back, twin exhaust. Look at that interior as well, light cream interior. Currently in the Cartier Stylet Lux. Looking at some of the Ferraris. 1963 Ferrari 250 GT. It's the Lusso. Absolutely stunning vehicle. Look at that interior, look how worn it is. Amazing, so much character in this car. It's absolutely stunning. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely beautiful colour, very similar to that of the DB5. So we're just about to leave the Cartier Style et Lux. And we're going to make our way over to Maserati now. All the cars just making their way over to the track of Bentley Central. <laughs> Kalama, Porky. We are just about to enter the supercar paddock. Oh, here she is. The MC20 Cello. Cello being Sky in Italian. Absolutely stunning colour. What is the colour of this? They call this... It doesn't say. 630 horsepower, just shy of 200 miles per hour, and it does 0 to 62 in three seconds. Very impressive piece of kit. Sounds like they're getting ready to fire it up. 
take a look around see what this looks like inside so here's the interior of the vehicle so you can see they've got the shift paddles around the steering wheel looks like they've gone for a suede seat cover we've got some gray piping that runs down the side very minimal center console you can see this turn dial and a display in the middle we've got the italian flag colors the mc20 above it the red arrows flying around We've got the Bugattis, take a little walk down, we've got the Aston Martin DB11 Vantage V12 and the Valkyrie down the bottom which we'll have to go and have a quick look at. There she is in all her glory, absolute weapon of a car. And we've got the V12 Speedster and the DBS down the bottom. Love that, you've got the helmet storage in the back. Every detail's been thought of. Wow, that is absolutely insane. Look at that interior. Beautiful. That's fine. You got the McLarens lined up. Very nice. They leave an empty of fuel space. Oh, I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three minutes and then they'll be out of fuel. Yeah. So here's the Rolls Royce 4x4. Oh, I like that. You've got all of the uh, luggage that matches with the interior, exterior of the vehicle. Nice little touch. Some signage out to say where you're going. So <laughs> lovely, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want me to take a photo of yourself, sir? Well, um, that'd be um, that'd be lovely, mate. I'm just filming at the minute, though. We have the MC20 cello being displayed. So I'm guessing this is a list of cars that are going to be racing up the hill today. Today's lunch. A nice spread. Lots of salads, fish, carbs, salmon, chicken. And it's stuck in. Those new potatoes are getting demolished. It's been a lovely day so far and my battery is just about to die on my camera so I'm going to switch across to the phone but we're going to enjoy some lunch and uh, then hopefully we'll get to have a chat with Beckham and then we'll be heading back out onto the circuit and see what's going on along the strip. You're so funny. We just finished off having lunch and had a nice chat with David Beckham, a very nice gent, and we're just about to go trackside to see if we can catch any of the last cars that are going to be racing up the hill today and um, then we'll be embarking on our trip home so it's been a fantastic day so far we've lucked out with the weather and the sun is actually shining right now so we cannot complain a very sweet moment a couple of drivers just finishing up so sweet well we've just jumped back into the chopper and today I'm gonna to be pilot so <laughs> I'm gonna be assisting Ian that's it I'm gonna hand over the controls to you I'm gonna be we're gonna be tearing up over London breaking all of the rules so, yeah. easy I'll lose a license for that yeah. shot <laughs> Of course we're not, we're only messing. However, you won't hear me in a second because it gets very noisy, so we'll uh, enjoy the flight home. Give me a hello, it's King of Six, just over Traffic, on traffic. Stuff. Well, just ahead you can see we have King's Cross, St Pancreas. St Pancreas. I know, but I always say St Pancreas. I know, I know. 
but I've just got to stay true to myself, just to accept that I can't pronounce a train station in London. It's just Pancras. Pancras. King's Cross, St Pancras. Today, Lids and I are on our way to Paris, and then we're going to be taking another trip across to Loire Valley, where we are going to be spending some time uh, with L'Artisan Perfumer, and then I believe we're going to be visiting some chateaus. So if you want to see what we get up to, then make sure you head over to Lydia's YouTube channel. But in my video, I'm going to be doing a style diaries and I'm going to be sharing with you the outfits that I'm wearing each day. I'll try and find a moment to share with you today's outfit. But as you can see, we've gone for this textured shirt and I'll have to show you the rest of the outfit when I get an opportunity. But we have a really lovely travel time today. We're traveling at midday. So I think we're going to uh, jump into the station now, grab a coffee, a croissant and head over to Paris. We've just checked into our hotel room here in Paris and we've got no minutes to jump into the taxi. It's actually waiting outside, but I thought I'd quickly take this moment to share with you today's outfit. This was supposed to be my daytime outfit and I was gonna wear one in the evening. Lydia just informed me that we're gonna be going to L'Artisan's flagship store and then we're gonna be going straight to dinner. And so today, if you can see, I'm wearing my Hermes sandals, these Loro Piana linen trousers in I kind of have them down as like a bit of like a rust colour, would you say? Yeah. And then this is a knitted shirt from Zara, my Rahul Patel collection, Tiger Stone necklace, and my Cartier Santos. So that's today's outfit. We are going to hit the road and I'll probably check in with you in the morning where we're going to be making our way over to Loire Valley. The Loire Valley. The Loire Valley. The Loire Valley. The, the okay. Loire Valley. Where we'll be making our way over to the Labar Valley. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I can't do it. <laughs> All these new names. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't do it. You guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I just, I've just done this segment and I said, we're going to be heading to Loire Valley. And Lydia said, the Loire Valley. <laughs> and so I've just persisted to try to say the Loire Valley, but I've said everything but, including what you just heard. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. And this is our room for the next 24 or 48 hours. One of the two. And we have this beautiful balcony, which overlooks what looks like the old courtyard i'm assuming this was like potentially a barn conversion of sorts and then to the left we've got this really lovely lake it's a really beautiful evening but i'm going to quickly get changed because we only have a very short amount of time before we need to be down for dinner this evening i didn't get the opportunity this morning to run you through today's outfit so we've just checked into the new hotel and i thought that i would quickly use this opportunity to share with you my outfit of the day. So I decided to go for my Laura Piana summer walks with the Sandro brown trousers. I've got this new shirt, which I'll take the jacket off in a second. It's from a brand called Finx or Fix, P-H-I-X. And then I'm wearing my brand new safari linen jacket from Sustra and Hicks, which I absolutely love. I've got the Cartier Santos and so, quickly take this off you'll see that this shirt is slightly more unique than my normal style it's a crochet style knitted shirt and i would have loved it to have had slightly bigger collars but i think that this was the best one that i found online and it fits really nicely so that was today's look i don't have much time to run you through my look so in short i'm wearing my gh bass leather tassel loafers my tom sweeney trousers with a luca floney blue linen shirt got my santos on again and i'm wearing this nautical anchor from the Hall patel collection we're gonna head down to dinner and hopefully tomorrow i'll have a little bit more time to run you through my look properly we woke up this morning to a very wet loire valley I mean, it's actually quite refreshing, but as you can see on the water, it's raining pretty heavily. But we have been treated this morning because the two black swans have actually arrived into the small lake. 
that our bedroom overlooks. How beautiful are they? They're little red beaks. As you saw, it's a little bit wet this morning, but yesterday, and whilst we were in Paris, I received um, a couple of lovely gifts from L'Artisan Perfumer. So I thought I would quickly take the opportunity this morning before we check out the hotel and uh, spend the day in Loire Valley before heading back um, to show you what's inside. I actually don't know. So um, first off, hand and body wash, if I hold it a bit closer so you can see. This has got a really soft, sort of musky scent to it. It's very unique, something very different to what I've smelled before. So that will go down very well. We actually had a dessert yesterday for dinner, which very much aligned with this kind of scent. And that had some herbs, strawberries and cream, and it all mixed together. It was absolutely delicious. And this very much reminded me of that. And then first up, we had a visit to the flagship store in Paris, which if you're around Paris, you should definitely check it out. It's fascinating. Um, they've kept a little bit of the history in the store, um, as well as doing the most beautiful packaging. They do like embossed leather tags, which you can actually see just here. These would work perfectly for like putting on your luggage or even like a backpack or something, uh, just to help identify it. So these are really, really lovely. And also the packaging itself. So, you can see here they've got the wax seals which are lovely and then as part of their potager collection which is actually why Lids and I were invited because they wanted Lids to experience and explore and learn more about La Saint Parfume and the latest collection which is the potager collection. You can see they've got this really beautiful packaging and again they've got the wax seal with La Saint Parfume's logo embossed into it. These are really lovely. So inside here we have two fragrances and I don't know what they are, so we'll open them up quickly. Oh yes. So I'm a bit of a oud lover. So we've got oud Alude, which is uh, one of their fragrance from another collection that when I was around the store, I'd showed an interest in, and so they very cleverly listened and uh, they've gifted that. A waft of saffron, caressed with vanilla accents is a tribute to the most precious of woods. So I wish I could like send the smell down the camera so you could have a, a smell of it yourself, but fragrance number one. And then the second fragrance today is Cedrat Cerus, probably not pronouncing it in that properly, but it's an EDP, Eau de Parfum, and it says that it has fennel, which gives it a kind of licorice undertone, um, with facets of green aniseed, sparked by a dash of pink peppercorn. So it's a little bit of a spicy fragrance. Um, I actually tried this as well in the store, it's very lovely. Fennel really sort of like push and works its way through. And uh, oh, you can see it's actually got fennel on the packaging as well. It's very lovely. Thank you very much to the team. That's very kind of you. I was not expecting that. Too many fragrances in the house. They also have some new technology in store as well, which I thought was really clever. You can actually go up to this machine, select the fragrance you want, press it, and then it blows the scent out. So it's like mimicking the waft of somebody walking past. I believe it's a Spanish technology that they've uh, recently brought into stores. So if you are local, then definitely go and check that out. And then when we arrived here, Liz and I also received a couple more potager inspired packages, um, which I might know what's inside this because Lydia let it drop last night. But again, beautiful packaging. We have the Trois de Chui, probably not how you say it, um, apron, which Lydia will 100% be taking off my hands, but when I get an opportunity to wear this in the garden, I will do. I'll be the kitchen garden barbecue king. It's a really nice color as well, like the, the green is like a really subtle, almost desaturated green. It's like black and white. But my eyes going funny. It is green, isn't it? It's like, is yours green? <gasps> Have you got green or is it yours in a different light? Hold on. If you've got Maybe it's the warm light. 
Yeah, I think it's probably mine. They're the same, yeah. And so if you've got a green, you know that's mine. What is it? <laughs> I'd say it's like a tealy green. Tealy green. Very nice. So there's that. And also... Oh, lovely. So this is the Potager Collection Atomizer. So all five fragrances inside this pouch, which makes it perfect for travel. I've spoken about atomizers before on my channel. They're very convenient. It means that you can take a variety of different scents away with you. And uh, they've got these little slips. So they're nicely uh, protected, easy to commute with. So lovely, we'll uh, be able to try all of the Potager fragrances. Just that is fine, yeah, lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Au revoir. Au revoir. And just like that, breakfast has arrived. Ooh, lovely. She got wet delivering that, my love, bless her. It's good though, doesn't it? Right. We are going to tuck into breakfast. I'm going to tidy up this. And uh, as always, I'll leave the links to those products in the description box below. And hopefully, just before we check out today, I'll show you my outfit of the day, which is going to be a very weather conscious decision. Well, this is today's outfit. As I mentioned, the weather is not looking great today, but it's not going to stop us. We're going to continue to explore the chateaus in the local area before heading back to England. I'm wearing a coat from Trench London. I really like the silhouette of it. I love all the details they put on this jacket. It's really lovely, extremely comfortable. I did have to have the sleeves taken up on it, but apart from that, it fitted an absolute dream straight out the box. I've gone for a plain white t-shirt from Jockey. I've then gone for this compass necklace from the Hall Patel collection. Um, I've actually been keeping my jewelry in little pouches and it stopped the oxidization, I think it is, process. So my jewelry staying a lot cleaner for a lot longer. In fact, it stayed just clean it's not deteriorated at all since i've been doing that and that was a tip that Rahul gave me i'm wearing my cartier santos i currently have my rolex being serviced and repaired uh, at rolex so i'm not going to have that for a very long time i've then gone for these extremely comfortable because we will be traveling back today Brulia 1949 trousers which i know that we opened from an order i did recently and then on my feet i'm not sure if you can see i've gone for the white jimmy Choo leather sneakers because it's raining today, I always think leather's a good choice because the rain just runs off, kind of. And uh, I like the studded detail that are on the back of these trainers. So yeah, that is my look. We're going to get checked out and enjoy the rest of the day. Well, I'm currently sitting editing up this video and beneath me, I have the sausages that are keeping my feet warm. Little feet warmers down there, absolutely passed out. But you can probably hear in the background that I need to sort the washing machine out because I have lots of washing to do. We've obviously been traveling a lot recently and I'm actually just going to stop that beeping on. <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it? So yeah, as I was saying, it's been um, lots of travel recently and so I've just got a lot of washing to get through because I'm off again very soon. So I need to get prepared for that. But it's been incredible just being able to attend so many sporting events and get to travel again it feels like the good old days um which is amazing i'm very tired i actually was watching me back uh, at the start of this video and actually probably now as well because we had a late one last night i absolutely looked like i just needed to go back to bed didn't i i've also been struggling with hay fever again um this year has finally kicked in i was waiting for it to happen i thought i might have got away with it but it started to happen again so you'll have to excuse me if i sound like I'm a little bit bummed up every now and then, it's just hay fever. Um, so hopefully, if the honey ever decides to flow from the hive, then I'll be able to consume that and it may help with stopping my hay fever, at least around the local area. So we'll give that a go. But Paris was fantastic. Goodwood was incredible. Um, Beckham was absolutely lovely. I don't even know if I touched base um, after I got back. There was probably about 30, 40 of us in a room and uh, he took the time to go and talk to everybody, uh, which was really nice. He was also filming some content for Maserati. Um, and I think he was possibly seeing the MC20 cello for the first time himself as well. I think he's already got an MC20, but the cello was their latest launch and that was the official UK date. So I think they were potentially filming some stuff for that. So he was a very busy man. But then of course we moved on to uh, the Loire Valley. Uh, just watching that clip back where I mispronunciated it. Um, very funny. I think it was just tired brain 
moments um, right there. But it was an absolutely lovely trip and the team was so wonderful and welcoming. And it was really fascinating learning more about L'Artisan Perfumer. L'Artisan, I believe, translates, can't speak French by the way, um, as like craftsman. So it's like a craftsman perfumer. It was just really interesting to see and hear about the brand's movements and the way in which they like to operate. They definitely like to focus on being like innovators in the fragrance space. They like to play around and experiment with new and different methods um, to create really unique scents. And they've got so much history as well. So um, it was really nice um, just hearing more about L'Artisan Perfumer as a brand and uh, also the direction that they continue to work towards. So I will leave the details to anything that of course has been referenced in this video, including Goodwood and of course our trip across the Paris and the Loire Valley. So I am going to sign off this video because coming up um, next week we go to Silverstone for the Grand Prix, um, which is awesome. I love the home race. It's the Probably a bit biased of me, but favorite race of the year. There's always lots of action. I also have ordered um, some clothes from a new company, and I believe Beckham was actually wearing his knitted jumper from this company because I've seen the exact same one online. And um, they do some really nice, clean, um, kind of basics, I'd say, and uh, like lots of knits. Um, very sort of Loro Piana, but more affordable. I probably ordered five pairs of shoes, a couple of different tops, and potentially a pair of joggers as well. So I'm gonna be unboxing that uh, in a second in next week's video. So make sure you stick around to see what we picked up from there because fingers crossed, the products are gonna be really nice and uh, it's gonna be a new brand to add to the list. But I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you at 5 p.m. Um, next Wednesday. So take care. Have a good one. Peace.